In this video, we will solve three problems in engineering economics under the topic capitalized cost. For problem number one, a company bought a new equipment costing 520,000 pesos which will have a life of 10 years. Salvage value of the equipment at the end of its expected life is 10,000 pesos. If rate of return is 6% per annum, compute the capitalized cost. So we have our first cost in this problem as the 520,000 pesos, which have a life of 10 years. And the salvage value, salvage value at the end of its expected life is 10,000 pesos. Then we have here the I is equal to 6 now, due to the presence of the salvage value, we need to uh, have the value for replacement cost. Since there is no replacement cost mentioned in the problem, our replacement cost will be the first cost. Okay, so, let's uh, solve for this using the formula for capitalized cost is equal to the first cost of 520,000 plus the uh, so there is no operation and maintenance here so so to have to recall the formula for cc we have the first cost plus om over i if it's treated as perpetuity we have the rc minus sb all over one plus i raised to n the uh, life the uh, life of the uh, equipment minus one so from that formula since we don't have om so that is zero then we have this formula the rc being the fc that is the 520,000 minus the salvage value of 10,000 all over one plus the six percent raised to the power of 10 minus one so our capitalized cost now here is 520,000 plus 520,000 minus 10,000 over 1.06 raised to 10 minus 1. So our capitalized cost is 1,164,877.64 pesos. So this is for the problem number one. Now let's go to the problem number two. Sun removal from a ditch is accomplished by machine loading into trucks. This machine will cost 3.4 million pesos. Annual maintenance costs amount to 180,000 pesos. Life of the machine is estimated to be 8 years with a salvage value of 80,000 pesos. If money is worth 10%, what is the capitalized cost? So again, let's put here the first cost. So the machine cost is 3.4 million pesos. The operation and maintenance amounts to 180 thousand pesos the life of the machine is estimated to be eight years and the uh, salvage value is eighty thousand pesos the interest rate here is ten percent now for the capitalized cost formula we have the first cost 3.4 million plus the om over i so our om here is 180,000 over the i 0.10 plus since there is no replacement cost mentioned in the problem we will have rc equals fc so our fc here is 3.4 million minus the salvage value of 80,000 all over 
1 plus 0.1 raised to the life of 8 years minus 1. So we now have our capitalized cost as 3.4 million plus 180,000 over 0.1 since it's perpetuity. So the uh, annual maintenance here is treated in perpetuity. Plus 3.4 million minus the salvage value of 80,000 pesos over 1.1 raised to 8 minus 1. So the capitalized cost here is 8,103,141.38. So this is the capitalized cost for problem number two. Now let's proceed to our problem number three. A company has just installed new software to charge and track toll fees. The system has an installed cost of 9,927,500 pesos. The annual software maintenance contract cost is 275,000 uh, 275, pesos for the first four years and 440,000 pesos thereafter. In addition, there is expected to be a replacement or upgrade cost of 825,000 every 13 years. Assume that interest rate is 5% per year, compute the capitalized cost. Now here we have different costings for the first cost. We have here the system cost of 9,927,500 pesos. For the maintenance, you can observe that there, there is two situations for the maintenance cost. The uh, first cost for the maintenance is for the first four years whereas the 440,000 here is thereafter therefore the 275,000 for the first four years is treated in annuity whereas 440,000 thereafter is treated in perpetuity so that will be OM1 is equal to 275,000 pesos and OM2 is equal to 440,000 pesos and the treatment here is annuity and then this is for perpetuity so what will we do here is to get the total value of OM so what is the value of OM later on then we have here a replacement cost RC equal to 825,000 pesos in every 13 years. So the life here is 13 years and the interest rate is equal to 5% per year. And let's compute for D and with uh, capitalized cost. so we need to deal with the uh, om here since uh, that's what going that's what's going to be complicated rc will be uh, directly substituted directly substituted in the formula same with the fc so we need to find the value of om so let's draw for the cash flow diagram Now for year zero, for the OM1, it says there 275,000 for the first four years. So this is uh, first four years is one, two, three, and then four. So and we are assuming that it is at the end of every year. So a is equal to uh, that is 275,000 
So, 275K. And, we will solve for its annuity. We will need to convert this into sorry, convert this into present cost P1. And uh, here the number of payments here is 4. M is equal to 4. Annual payments. Next is the uh, 440,000 thereafter. So it says there thereafter. So this is 5, 6, 7, and so on and so forth. So we have here a broken line indicating perpetuity. payment of 440k and then coming from perpetual here and this is the year zero for the uh, for the uh, 440k it's year zero is located here so this is the year zero for the perpetual 440k and this is P2 let's name this as P2 and then from here from its year 0 up to the present so P3 so therefore what we do here is uh, this is perpetuity here up to the P2 and then we will use compound interest here wherein the number of years is equal to 4 years okay, so let's solve for P1 using the present word of uh, present word of annuity so that is 275 K 1 plus 0 0.5, 0 0.05 raised to 4 minus 1 all over 1 plus 0 0.05 raised to 4 0 0.05 zero five raised to four minus one all over one point zero five raised to four times point zero five so that is nine hundred seventy five thousand so nine hundred seventy five thousand one three six point thirty nine and then let's go to P two our P two is perpetuity so four forty K all over 0 0.05 so that is equal to 440 K so 8,800,000 so that is 8,800,000 then for P3 we will use this as the future word of the uh, compound interest so that is eight million eight hundred thousand divided by so using the uh, compound interest formula that is one plus point zero five raised to four so eight point eight one point zero five raised to four so that is seven million. Seven million two hundred thirty nine thousand seven eight one point seventy eight. So for the OM OM total, we will have 
and P3. So, P1 plus P3. That is equal to 975136.39 plus 7239781.78. So, 8 million. 214,918.17 And then we go to the capitalized cost formula CC So we have our first cost of uh, 9,927,500 So 9 nine million nine two seven five hundred plus the om over i will not be used rather we are going to use here the om total because we already uh, compute we've already compute the uh, om based on two different situations having it as annuity and as perpetuity so if there is two conditions for the operation and maintenance you need to do this uh, this kind of solving in order to get the om total so our om total here is eight million two hundred fourteen thousand nine hundred eighteen point seventeen plus don't forget the replacement cost formula so for our replacement cost formula that is rc how much was that again 825,000 so 825,000 minus the salvage value zero then one plus point uh, how many percent so that that's five percent raise to how many years the life of 13 years so raise to 13 minus 1. So that's the formula for capitalized cost. Now for the discussion of capitalized cost, kindly look at the uh, playlist for engineering economics uh, lecture videos in our channel. So 918.17 plus... 825,000 over 1.05 raised to 13 minus 1. So the capitalized cost here is 19,073,938.3. So that is the capitalized cost. So that's for problem number three. So that ends our video.